Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Watkins Glen International Speedway here for race 17 of the Phillips Nationwide Series. Give me the rundown. Anna Gregg, Dom Caps, Jack Richards, DJ Kirker, J uh, Jason Fitzgerald, Hayden Klein, Ken Johnson, Zach Colbert, Colin Cropley, Ch Zach Robinson, excuse me, Sean Galligan, Cameron Yetz, Kevin Malone, Greg Richardson, and Austin Ogle rounding out your half of the race field. And we welcome you to our first of two races here on this Saturday. Watkins Glen is our first stop. Then we'll move on to Michigan for race 18. And up in the Finger Lakes region of upstate New York here for the Continental Tires at the Glen. Race 17. And we're edging closer to that chase cutoff at Richmond. So if anyone has to get a win, it has to be either today, later on at Michigan, or in Atlanta. You can't win Richmond and be locked into the chase. As they come up a turn number 10, the pace car has already left the track. It'll be Anna Gregg and Dom Caps on the front row and we are green from the Finger Lakes region of upstate New York in the Continental Tires at the Glen. And as they make that hard right-hander here, and a gray goes off course, nearly gets a piece of Jack Richards here. And they go up through the S's, right, left, and right. That's gonna be tricky all race long for, the, for a few drivers. Who are not yet, not used to roll cars is huge crash on the back! Colin Crawley hard into the Arco barrier! Sean Gallagher also involved with this one! Ister is there! Duncan, I think he got a piece of it! Dally's in it! And there's Crawley heavy damage after backing it into the Arco and getting hit by a lot of drivers! So our first caution on the opening lap! So it's going to be Dom Caps leading him down to this caution here. And what a brutal one it was. That crash. Man. And as they slide off, turn 10, contact. Dom Caps gets the caution. We get a replay. All right. It's going to happen here with Colin Crawford and Sean Galligan. Galligan gets a piece of it, gets in the yard cold barrier. Then Crawford gets the worst of it. Slams that Arnco barrier hard driver's side, and Galgan gets a piece of the Arnco, and they go bouncing back in front of the racetrack, right in front of Greg Anderson, Tyson Verlander, and more. And Mark Ister, another hard crash. And more cars start to get involved Dylan Fodd, Noah Brown, Nick Caps, Billy, uh, uh, Sam Brady, there, he gets a piece of it right there. Keith Black is also involved here. First caution's out at the Glen. We got a restart here. Welcome back. It's going to be Dom Caps, DJ Kirker, Hayden Klein, Anna Gregg, Jack Richards, Zach Colbert, Ken Johnson, or Jason Fitzgerald, Ken Johnson, Jack Robinson, Cameron Yetz. Your top 10 here from the Watkins Glen International Speedway in upstate New York. We got 40 cars on the lead lap. And then 11 cars is the last one on the lead lap. So that's 40 cars on the lead lap here today from Watkins Glen. So, that first big accident might be a wake up call for some of these drivers to take it easy. It's a long road course, 14 laps around this tricky road course and as they come off of turn number 10 here they will start spruiling up the speeds on those engines and here we go the continental tires at the glen is green once again Law that rhymed and Cat Cash gets a pretty good jump as they go off into the left hand right hander here in the turn number one and that will set them up for that for that elevation change up into the S's here and some battles here. Anna Gregg for third against Hayden Klein. And we continue to scroll back through the field here. Some cars are having the mini battles. Just like at the, Mil at the Milwaukee Mile, but running pretty close together. Excuse me. Some mini battles on the track. Some single file runs here. 
one of mine your P's and Q's here at Watkins Glen. Pretty long race here. No! Sean Vault almost goes off course. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is our first stop of, of of your Saturday evening. So this we oh boy! Robert Piet almost overdrove it. Gets on the ripple shits and look at these guys just slide up off the corners. Nearly getting a piece of that new safer barrier. And Dom Cass continues to lead off in that hard right hander turn one. That will set him up for the short shoot here. Keith Black coming on the pit road. And some people are just now making it into the short shoot. Some people are going up through the S's here. Some mini battles out on the track here. Billy Bishop, some of them, Zach Robinson. Your season over Daytona winner. Single file so far. Through the top 10. And DJ Kirker already has a win under his belt at Daytona. That was our second Daytona race. And no, oh, Malone overdrives it. A lot of people overdrive it. There's some people in the grass as they enter the carousel. As they enter the carousel, some dust being kicked up. Lauder are just now entering the entering the carousel. Caps coming off turn nine. In the turn ten. And you're running aboard here with Dom Caps in the 60, knowing that his brother Nick Caps is out of the race. Due to that first caution, Caps, he has to get a win. He has to win either here, Michigan, or Atlanta. If he can get a win here, he'll still be a chase contender. And he'll be up there in points as they, as they climb the, the S's. And that'll lead him down the, the back stretch. Some people are still going through the S's here. Some people are on the back stretch. Knowing Don Cass, he's going to make it into the bust up chicane here. And right hander. Whoa! Richard's off course. Many people off course here. Rich, uh, covered. Oh, crash! Coming out of the bus stop. And that crash has spilled over into the carousel. Jackson Phillips involved and Robinson he's involved. No oh, still is fine. Austin all go as well. Man, many people going off course. Hoo-hoo! Caution out. Get another replay here. Okay, take a deep breath, folks. As Calvin Malone gets into the bus stop chicane here, he just overdrives that one portion and that upsets the car and he's going to make pretty significant contact with the tires here right there right smack into him Austin Ogle gets a piece of Malone Malone gets a piece of Robinson and Malone gets a piece of that tire right, barrier and the wreck spills over into the carousel as Jackson Phillips gets on the ripple strips and goes around Something you don't want to do at a road course. Go on the ripple strips. So it went from the apex of the uh, of the bus stop into the carousel. Another caution. Another restart. Okay. Before we go green. Another crash getting into the apex of the bus stop. Matt London in the 89. Going around as the, as the car upsets in the, in the bus stop and smacks that tire barrier as well. Now, let's get back to the restart. Welcome back. It's gonna be Dom Caps, Hayden, DJ Kirker, Hayden Klein, Jack Richards, Anna Gregg, Ken Johnson, uh, Jason Fitzgerald, uh, Zach Covert, Cameron Yates, and Kerry Anderson. Another fantastic run. For one of our many rookies, Kerry Anderson. Knowing that Nick Cap, Sam Brady, and Jackson Phillips were involved in accidents here at Watkins Glen and the Continental Tires at the Glen. One rookie that's really surprising me is Kerry Anderson, driver of that 39 car. And waiting in the wings of that 4 car, replacing Sean Galligan at the end of this race will be 
brother of Zachary Robinson. He will take over that four car at the end of this race. I think his name is Matthew Robinson, I think. Don't know how to double check that. But they come off turn 10 into the front stretch. The Continental Tires at the Glen. Here from Watkins Glen International is back underway here. And a better restart here for DJ Kirkero. Better start for Hayden Klein. He's going to look on, on that inside. And Kirker overdrives the corner, gets into the ripple strips. So Hayden Klein will take second as they, as they climb the hill up into the S's here. Kirker losing spot after spot after overdriving the hard right hander. Now they go down the back straightaway. Now they go into the bus stop chicane. That's another hard right hander. And a gear changer here. Some people are driving very cautiously. Oh, some grass being kicked up here. And through the carousel. Now down the short shoot. I think that's called the short shoot. Now, uh, now that hard left hander in the turn nine. And people going off course just a little bit. Turn 10. People sliding off the corner and no contact. Contact. Doesn't look to be any problems here. And uh, oh trouble. I hear someone going around. Someone's around. And it's who is it? It's Billy Bishop. The Charlotte winner has gone around at the entrance of turn number one, that hard right-hander. So caution out again on the racetrack. And Dom Cass is leading him down the back straightaway, heading into that second hard right-hander, the bust-up chicane right here. And now he'll lead him off into the carousel. And oh, more grass being kicked up back there. Now uh, exiting the carousel. Some people are still minding their P's and Q's, knowing that the caution is out. And I think we will get set for a green-white checker here at Watkins Glen. We will find out as Dom Cabs comes out of turn number 10, gets on the ripple strips, and brings them down to our fourth caution of the day. Replay. All right. This battle right here was, is what started it. Billy Bishop contact with Zach Cobert. He goes pretty hard to that wall and at over a hundred miles an hour. He is sliding that thing. Brakes are locked up. Smoke's being kicked up. And he saves the thing from a complete utter disaster. Almost did a Denny Hamlin. Let's get back to this restart. Alright folks, predictions mean correct. Green, white, checkered at the Glen. We're giving you the top 10 and rounding out your top 10 will be Charles Jackson. Rounding out your top 10. So Dom Caps has to be extra careful on this restart knowing that we only get one attempt at a green white checkered uh, finish here in NR 2003. Only one attempt at a, at a green-white checkered. Our third green-white checkered of the 2013 Phillips Nationwide Series inaugural season. Here we go! Dom Caps, Hayden Klein, DJ Kirker, Anna Gregg, Jack Richards, Ken Johnson, your top five. One attempt at a green-white checkered finish. We're green at the Glen! And a much better restart. Ingle and Liana pushing the envelope here. They go off into the hard right hander. Hayden Klein wearing out Dom Cass's back bumper. But Cass is going to pull away from him as they climb the S's. Now, if the caution comes out right now or any time, the race is over. If we take the white flag and the caution waves, it's over. We still have two laps to go and a lot more corners to maneuver. Into the bus stop chicane they go. So far, so good. Oh, people going off course. Look out. 
that's being kicked up back there. And there, there it is. There's a crash. And will that be the caution? Yes, it will. Caution's out. Full course caution. That's going to be the race. We only got one attempt at a green white checker. The caution flag comes out and Don Caps out in front is going to win the Continental Tires at the Glen when we get to the finish. Now we get a replay. All right. Sean Volt in the 48 overdrives the bus stop chicane here. And he was trying to keep the car rolled down to get ready for the carousel. But he gets a piece of the tires, gets a piece of the Yonko, and then gets a piece of the tires on, on the outside. And that's the race, folks. That caution ends the race. So, Sean Volt, unfortunate, to get to the finish here. Ladies and gentlemen, the finish from Watkins Glen here. Dom Caps gets to win. Hannah Klein second. DJ Kirker third. Dom uh, Anna Greg fourth. Jack Richards fifth. Johnson Yetz, uh, Fitzgerald, Anderson, Piet round out your top ten. Then it's Van Jackson, Lamiana. Uh, shoot, too fast here. Uh, Fod, uh, Bishop, Duncan, Lotterer, Black. London Phillips or or no 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 not Phillips. Anyway, Dom Castle's Ulfer streak has been snapped here at Watkins Glen and Sam Brady in the 34 car. So my apologies, Sam Brady. But Dom Caps Ulfer streak is over. O for 16. Coming into today's race, it's over. Dom Caps, if you're watching, you're 0 for streak, 0 for 16, now 1 for 17. He wins the Continental Tires at the Glen. What a finish. And the top 10 is scrolling across the start finish line. Now here, now here comes the rest of the field. Uh, Billy Bishop, Billy Bishop comes on pit road, but he'll still finish in his finishing position. Dom Caps, one for 17 on the year now. His first win. Hannah Klein gives him a little nudge, and that's the race, folks. Watkins Glen is done, and we will move on to our second race here in a matter of hours on this Saturday evening. Double header in the Phillips Nationwide Series. Stay tuned. The Michigan race, race 18 at Michigan, is coming up. Here on the Fields Nationwide Series. Good night, folks.